As with any flagship phone, there's a lot of adjustments that can be made if you want to dig deeper. Huawei also has a competitor to Samsung's, which allows you to connect the phone using Type-C to an HDMI monitor or a TV and transforming it into a pseudo desktop experience. It's still the mobile versions of apps, but the phone's display now becomes the trackpad and you're able to scroll around, but it gives you a full screen experience for things like accessing Word, Excel, PowerPoint, as well as Chrome, uh, which can be useful if you're giving presentations and here we have it. This is the EMUI or Emotion UI desktop. And we have this virtual cursor being displayed on screen. I'm using just the phone's touchscreen to move this around. I can also connect other accessories by USB. Since it's Type-C, I can connect a hub and let's say plug in another regular mouse if I want to use it for a real desktop-like experience. And we even have these icons on the bottom right-hand corner reminiscent of Mac or Windows. Um, and I can tap on this to take a look at, let's say, input method. I can see my battery status, my Wi-Fi information, time and date, all below here I can even drag, uh, which feels again like a real computer. I have a few shortcuts for things like Chrome. What's interesting is that it's smart enough to know that right now, because I'm connected to a monitor, it should load up the classic desktop versions of sites. So it's not going to try and load up the mobile versions anymore, which is actually quite convenient. You also have many different gestures enabled, including scrolling by using two fingers on the display, and that allows you to scroll up and down. You can also pinch in and out, and it works really well just like the regular mouse. Other apps include a file manager, there's even videos that you can play back and tap on the bottom corner here to take a look at additional apps which have been optimized for this experience. It doesn't give you the full collection of apps, but overall the experience is pretty similar to what you'll find on a Chromebook if you connect that to a larger monitor. That is to say, if you all you need is really uh, light productivity, for instance, if you're doing most of your work through the cloud, and on a browser. So if you have just, let's say, a email tab, something like that open, this is really all you need to uh, use to get by. And if I wanted to change the view and just have a regular mirrored experience of just mirroring my display, I can tap on my phone and now it's just showing a mirror of uh, what is being displayed on my phone. So this gets rid of the desktop-like experience, but now I can just share uh, maybe a presentation or an app that I have specific here or maybe even a game if you don't want to use wireless mirror casting. What's also interesting is as you're connected to the projector, uh, you don't necessarily have to use, of course, the touchscreen as the trackpad. You can be doing other, other things with your phone as well, and the desktop experience is just running in the background as almost a separate app. So you can be doing separate things like calling someone, you can be browsing the web in a separate Chrome tab, uh, while the desktop-like experience has a completely different view, and it's really just using the powerful CPU inside as well as the 6 gigs of RAM to make that happen, uh, very similar to Windows Phone Continuum. But if I want to, I can also just go into the touchpad view, and again, this is what it looks like with the cursor and the gestures that you can perform on here. If you tap on a text box, it's also smart enough to pop up a virtual keyboard on the phone, which you can use to type in letters uh, and things like that.